This is the initial uh, block flow diagram that we're going to use uh, for creating our HISIS simulation. So let's start. So the first thing we're going to do is to add the properties environment. Basically, we're going to add the components and the fluid package. There's a couple of things that you have to do before we start. You can increase the size of this window by clicking here, the zoom, and that will allow you to see this better. Um, the other thing is that you should save it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it quickly. So take the time to save your simulation before you start. You can go to the uh, initial problem statement and check all the components that will be added. So what we're going to uh, go is come here into component list. I'm going to add components. To add your components, you need to type the name here and then click the uh, identified component and then click add. There's multiple ways to do this. You can do it by name or you can also find here, you know, simulation name or a formula if you know the formula. Simulation name sometimes is related to the most common name and the full name is typically the UPAC name or um, the, the scientific name. So it sometimes it's hard uh, to know which one to use. So maybe the, the easiest way to go is with the full name to help you out. Here I have all of my components added, hydrogen, methane, benz benzene, toluene, and biphenyl. If you end up not having the same order that I have, uh, it's okay. You can always remove and replace components. Sometimes it's easy to organize your components in order of volatility just because uh, it allows you to later help, um, help with the separation train. Uh, so I try to use that uh, as a standard right on the way I'm adding the components. You can click save. Then the next thing we're going to do is to add the fluid package. The fluid package recommended was Sof Relish Quan or SRK. I'm going to add here the fluid package. I come here and identify the SRK. Notice that automatically is registered. If you don't know exactly what this means, right, um, you can leave the defaults while you get better at uh, the simulation. So I'm going to just leave this the defaults uh, because it's not the purpose of the vi video to go through the uh, thermodynamic packages. Save it again. Now the next thing is to add the reactions. If we have a reactor in, in our PFD, this is uh, something that you have to do. You need to come here to properties, environment, uh, here, properties environment and be able to add the reactions. If you go to the simulation environment and add the reactor and notice that you forgot to add the reactions, you can always come back and add them. So I'm just going to go ahead and come here, add reactions, going to add a reaction. The reaction provided to us is the conversion reactor. A conversion reaction. Then we're going to add a second reaction that is the side reaction. So we know that it's already a conversion uh, reaction. So we're going to add here two. Okay, if you just add one and then click that window, you can always come back again here and add the second reactor reaction later. Double click. So here we're going to start adding the components of the first reaction. We have toluene reacting with hydrogen to produce benzene and methane. 
the stoichiometry for this reaction is minus one for reactants, meaning that we're consuming that, react that reactant, minus one for hydrogen, positive one for benzene, positive one for methane, indicating that it's being produced. Then we're gonna use toluene as our limiting reactant. This is something that you may need to check depending on the information that you have for your reaction. In our statement, it provided that um, toluene was gonna be the limiting reactant because it indicates that hydrogen will be in excess. Reaction phase, we can, we're gonna use overall reaction phase. This is something that you can change if you have a mixture of phases, right? You can have vapor phase, liquid phase, you can have aqueous phase. So depending on where the reaction is happening, it's important to add it here. What we're gonna do is just leave it overall. So here you're gonna add the percentage of conversion. An important thing to notice is that conversion is in percentage, right? CO doesn't have any dependence with temperature. And then the other uh, type of uh, constants does depend on temperature. You can have conversion that depends on temperature. Again, this depends on the type of data that you have for your reaction. Uh, the important thing, and I think the most common mistake uh, new people do, is that they add here a decimal form without realizing that conversion is actually in percentage. So for us, it's 75 mol percent. Notice here that the balance error is zero. Some, some people balance this stoichiometry. You can do that. Sometimes this causes error, so I always like to add it manually. Let me come here. Let me close it. So the reaction is not ready. So if you notice here, the heat of reaction wasn't calculated. So the reason is that we haven't attached a thermodynamic package that allows us to do those calculations. So what we're gonna do is for reaction one, we're gonna add the fluid package. Here we have the SRK. So you click and you add as a fluid packet. If I come here, I should have the, react, the heat reaction, the, the reaction heat, right? Already calculated for my system. Now what we have to do, right, is to complete reaction set number two. Notice here in the bottom that Hysis is tells you what, what has to be done next. So it kind of help kind of help you right throughout the process. So let's go here, double click. Here we have the benzene is the side reaction producing biphenyl and hydrogen. The coefficients here were minus two, one, one. Notice here that is balanced. We need to provide information about the conversion and we're gonna keep reaction phase uh, overall. Remember this can be changed uh, depending on the phase uh, where you want the benzene to be located. There's some reactions like reactions when you have two phases where um, you have a mixture of vapor and liquid and only the main reactant is in the vapor phase or when you have organic and inorganic compounds, um, you may have one reaction happening in, in one phase or the other depending on the solubility of the uh, desired uh, reactant or limiting reactant in the particular phase. But oh, right now we're gonna use overall, it's typically the, 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 the default right, that I use. So the conversion was here 2%. Remember that this is the most common mistake to do to then convert this to 0 0.02 because you think that it's in the decimal form. Notice here, always notice here the conversion uh, is units, right, in terms of percentage already. Notice that automatically the fluid package was added. If not, you can always, um, and you also notice if you see here, yeah, I double click the reaction again, the re uh, heat of reaction was already calculated for us. So it says ready. If it doesn't say ready, then you have to come back here and add uh, to the fluid package. If you don't want HISIS to attach your second reaction to the particular fluid package that you add in the re reaction number one, you can always detach it 
uh, and then add another one. You will see that sometimes in one single simulation, we may have different reactions or different processes or uh, chemicals, co component lists that may be located in different, uh, may, may be used in different fluid packages, but that we will learn later. So now the next thing that we have to do is to make sure that Hyces is organizing the reactions in the right order. Remember, the reaction number one is happening first. And as we are producing some of the benzene, the 2% uh, of that benzene is de then used in the second reaction. So that means that the reaction is in parallel. This is something that you need to know, right? You need to make sure that you remember your kinetics. And from there, you can see, right, you can have reactions in parallel, you can have reactions in sequence, you can have reactions that are a little bit more complex, right, depending on e each other. So it's important for you to know this. The best way to do this is just to organize the reactions in a piece of paper and kind of decide what is happening, right, uh, within the chemistry. So I'm going to come here and rank. So HISIS uh, is interesting in the way it ranks the reactions. So sometimes it's smart enough to know that one reaction goes uh, after the other. Sometimes it doesn't. So in this particular case, when you have everything using the same rank, it's telling the system that the reactions in, are happening in parallel. But, but, but we know that they're in series, right? Reaction one happens and then reaction two uh, happens, right? Once the uh, benzene is produced from reaction number one. This is very important, right? You need to decide that. So you remember, all of them can be zero or, zero, or all of them can be level one, but they all have to be in the same, uh, it has the same rank, right? If they're happening in parallel, if they're happening in series, then you, one has to come after the other. And typically it's related to the numbers, right? Zero, one, two, or one, two, three, right? Telling the rank zero happened first, then one, then uh, rank number three, okay? Um, you can always go to the help here uh, on the right top corner and check uh, how to do this uh, better. I'm going to close and save my simulation. Now we're ready to enter the simulation environment. <laughs> 